Ritzo from Studio Fashino and today I'm going to talk to you and teach you about how to use a light tent for selling your great products on Instagram and Etsy. friend of mine who has a homewares store and she um, bought or I, I advised her um, after she rang me and said Megan how do I get good product photos um, of my stock and put them she sells them online on, on Instagram um, and so I told her to go and get a light tent which she did because she's a good girl and followed my instructions um, but then I was at her place the other day and I see it like shoved up in the spare bedroom with the lights and um, not being used so I said well what's going on here what's happening why aren't you using these she goes I just don't know how to do it I don't know how to take I don't know how to set it up I don't know how to take the photos it came with all these bits and I don't know where they go so I thought well there's probably a lot of other people out there as well um, that have that same thing see that you can get a light tent for your products but don't really know how to set it up or how to use it or what the best way is so I'm going to show you today how easy it is um, I've got three different types of light tents um, two of them um, came in a pack with um, lights that go either side of the light tent and one of them is uh, one that I got uh, recently from Ted's Camera House. Uh, it's an optics um, light tent and I think it is absolutely fantastic. It's such an easy setup. The lights are actually inside of the box. Um, there's one central switch to turn it on and it's so easy to interchange your colours. So they've got white, black and they've got like a... Um, like they're all like a thick vinyl so they stay nice uh, they don't bend or anything like that they're easy to wipe down uh, and it's sort of like a creamy dark creamy sandy color so depending on what what style you want to go for um, there's some good options there it was about just over a hundred dollars so it's not expensive um, and I've done a couple of sample shots to show you how easy it is um, to shoot a product. I've just grabbed stuff from around the studio, so I know that um, pe people who have shops have, you know, much more interesting stock than what I have, um, and also people who sell on Etsy that hand make beautiful creations too. This is just ideal. It's not a huge outlay, um, and it's just something that you can have set up on a table in a spare bedroom, turn the light on, and take the photo. Many crafters, cooks, artists want to take high quality photographs of their own creations, whether, the, whether to feature them on a blog post or offer them for sale online, or just share them with their friends. The trick to getting these kinds of product shots easily and reliably is to use a light tent. I'm going to teach you today the fundamentals of shooting with a light tent to help you capture bright, high quality product photographs every time. A light tent or light box is a contraption with translucent sides that diffuses light coming from multiple sources. This allows for even nearly shadowless lighting against a simple solid background. You'll see in the video here that you can also open uh, the top of the light tent. So there's the hole in the top. And you can easily, um, because the lights are seamlessly sitting inside of the light box, um, you can just open the top flap, Velcro it back, there's a space to do that, which is great, and then simply pop your camera or your mobile phone into the top or just sitting over the top and take the photo looking down onto your um, product. Really good to do um, side by side so you get one image from the top and another image from the front of the box and put those side by side. It gives people a really good idea of the product. So um, I, think, I think this is really ideal. So 
once you've got your light box set up um, and you've got, you, you know, depending on what light box you've got, but I'm going to sort of go with the ones that I've got here in the studio with the demonstrations. You can see the light goes either side um, and it can be, and it's diffused. Um, the traditional ones only sort of shoot from the front, so you're looking at the front of, of your subject. Um, but you can get them quite big, so you would be able to angle the phone that you can sort of get a bit of a top angle. But going back to the uh, optics um, light box that I got last week, I just think it's so handy to be able to look through the top and, and photograph your subject. So you can either do this with uh, a good DLSR camera, doesn't matter what you're using, um, you can set it up on a tripod, is always recommended. Um, the reason I sort of recommend the tripod is that so you're going to get consistency through your images. So you're not going to get different angles and I've looked at some beautiful Instagram and some beautiful Etsy sellers and they just look flawless. I mean, look if you look at my Instagram, um, what it, what's it called? The log or the scrolling or what that thing is with all the boxes. Um, your main sort of page, it's just a mishmash of all sorts of stuff. I originally started to make it all nice and pretty and seamless and only put certain things up. But then life happens and so you go, oh, I'll just share this, that and the other. So, But I have seen some beautiful, um, some beautiful Instagram pages where products are just displayed so well. And there's a consistency through all the images, which I think is really appealing. Uh, to buyers, if only I could do that myself. Um, the other thing you can look at when you're doing it is think about colours and textures and seasons. Now you all know that I did my season series with my portraiture, um, which you can read about in B&E magazine. Um, and I think seasons are good because it gives you a bit of a colour palette to go with. People are sort of wearing those colours, their moods change to lighter and darker depending on seasons. And so think about the seasons, pick out your favourite colours from that season and just incorporate those um, uh, into your uh, product photography. So either with little um, autumn leaves or go for a more warmer coloured backdrop. Um, with this light tan, it's so easy just to slide in another colour. You could put fabric in there um, or you can just go with the three that you're given. Uh, it's always lovely. Um, so yeah, think about your backgrounds, your palettes, um, your colours. The colours that appeal to you because it's about putting a little bit of your personality uh, into the images as well. People don't really want to see boring time after time images, they, they want to see a reflection of you. I always say with my photography that I do here in the studio that it's always a reflection of me because I'm putting my personal touch and my creative mind into those images and you can do the same with your products. So add a few you know, of your favourite flower petals or add a little bit of salt if you're doing food and you've got a black backdrop and a nice you know, textured um, um, piece of timber as a board. Put some salt around, put some, you know, um, herbs around. Uh, so it's always really nice to add a few textures. So you can do that with this light tent because you can shoot from the front and because you can shoot from the top. It gives you those options to just really think about your styling and how you want to portray your images, um, which I think will be, you know, your, your viewers and your buyers will love it. Another little tip with the light box is maybe get a little dot and put it right in the center in the middle of your light box and use that um, so that you know the light's going to be consistent when you're shooting your product. So if we don't have a marker or a dot on the bottom of our um, backdrop, then we move, in, we move the product slightly forward and slightly back and the light will be different on the subject. So just put a little dot there, make sure you put your product on the dot every time and then you'll get a nice consistent lighting. Um, and I will show you uh, in the light tent the, the little strips of LED lights that are in the optics light tent and you'll be able to see they can be moved if you want to have them further out 
um, or they can be moved directly on top of your subject. It also comes with a little um, diffuser that you can clip on the top and that will um, diffuse the light so it's a little bit softer. So you can use your mobile phone to take these photographs of your product and upload them straight to Instagram. Um, I will I have other tutorials on editing your photos on your mobile phone so I'll you can watch that to find out how to do that but it's really easy if you've got any questions at all about how to photograph uh, products for Etsy and Instagram uh, in a light box just ask below I'll always answer them you can follow me on Facebook at Studio Fashino or on Instagram at Studio Fashino and uh, ask me any questions that you'd like because I'd love to um, engage and talk to you about your product photography and I'd love to have a look if anyone's got you know some great pages that they recommend then by, by all means pop those below and we can check them out and uh, yeah, it'd be great to share some of those great photos too so uh, have a great day thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more photography tips and tricks and have a great day Bye.